What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of RCF Podcast. It's your boy, Brandon. We're here in the new barbershop with Anthony, Jeremy, and Antonio. What's up, everybody? Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Yo. So, guys, we're going to start off just by uh, saying what, what's the first impressions? What do you guys think of the new place? Um, I like it. It's definitely it's different than what's around here, you know. So, I, I definitely, the lighting, just the... Overall, overall, it's really nice. Like, but yeah. I haven't seen a barbershop like this <laughs> in person, so... You good? This is nice. Yeah. Why are you, why are you laughing? Because I forgot my drink. Fuck. <laughs> Man, it's all good. Started? Get the bartender. It's all good. Yeah. Antonio, what do, you, what do you think? What do you think of the oh, place? It looks good. I think it's, yeah, it is just like everybody said. I mean, it is different than I think what most of the barbershops are around. So definitely a new look. And mm-hmm. I think people are going to appreciate that because I think always something new is always good. Yeah. Yeah. The aesthetic of it. I think Gross. definitely the floors are my favorite part. The yeah, floors are, are my favorite. Sick. Yeah, the floors. The floor just sick. as soon as you come in, it's like <laughs> hits you in the face. Yeah, just if you fall. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't know. For me, I like it's dark, slippery. dark rooms, and then with the lighting, so it's just like a very just like mellow vibe, I guess. For me. Yeah. 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 yeah in a sense, because yeah, I mean, you would think it would be obviously everything being like dark, but it doesn't feel like that. Well, because yeah. of the lights, because my my dad said the same thing. So I was like, it's, it's going to be all black, and then it's going to be the honeycomb lights. And he was like, all black, that's too dark. And I'm like, no, that's why it works, yeah. because of the honeycomb lights are so bright, and all the black, it absorbs a bunch of light, right? So <laughs> yeah, it, that, that's the only reason it works. But Yeah, I think, I think everything worked out good, like really well. Like everything matches like, like really good. Who, who's your guys', let, let's, uh, since we are in a barbershop, who's your guys' uh, barbers who cut your hair, Tony? Me, myself, and I, I come out here. Damn. Wow. Damn, what a fuck. professional. Like, can, can we take a little peek? <laughs> I mean, I got a hat on. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> yeah. His hair's not done. You can't take it All off. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jeremy? Uh, Eric. Eric the Barber. Eric the Barber? I'm sure you guys know who, who that is. Yeah, Eric the Barber. He's my barber as well. He's uh, probably uh, one of the best barbers in Oregon, uh, hands down. He won't say it. He's humble, but... Good barber. Good barber. Go. Good barber. <laughs> Anthony. My, my barber is, uh, well, I have two barbers. I was telling you yesterday. Oh, oh. he fancy. Oh, nah, chill. Oh, it's not even I like you could only have one. Oh, it's not even like that. You said they're on retainers. Nah, you said they're on retainers. No, no, the thing is, I have a main and a side chick. Uh, it's a oh. main and a side. And they like yeah. different hairdos? Or, <laughs> or are you talking about the barbers? What? He's talking about the barbers. <laughs> I'm talking about the barbers. No, yeah. oh, right, bro. Whatever. <laughs> I have so, who the the person that mainly cuts my hair is is Gabriel Blends. I don't know. You guys Shout know. out. Shout I know out. him. Shout out, Gabe. You guys well, know. I don't know him. I know his profile. You know who he is, yeah. And yeah. then uh, also my homie Boyo. That's okay. What they call him. And he's the he's the he's the side oh. chick, the side um, barber. Yeah. I guess, oh, I guess he has that, to be the I side know. chick because he's Boyo. <laughs> no, he's just more low key. <laughs> I, I don't. Yo, Kim straight with the dad jokes. Today. <laughs> I, I didn't get it. Look like really a dad. Get it. Side chick. You know, chickens, oh, chicks, okay. boyo. I get it now. Wow. I didn't. I didn't catch on to that. Yeah. I didn't what catch the on fuck? Are we the only ones that caught that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I didn't, I'm like, why Definitely you not. So you got that right? That. No. You didn't catch that. No. no. I'm the only one. You're the only one, bro. That joke. So I'm just. I mean, that's a terrible dad joke. Yeah, it was off the dome. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's a good one. Just for like, just right off the rip. Wow. I mean, I didn't catch it. <laughs> it was good, but was, none of us got it. <laughs> nah. Um, all right. No. So, okay. So you have two. How, how did that happen? Like, is it just why do you have two? All right. So, my my main was Boyo at first. Like, I was faithful to him like for a few years, right? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's hella funny because I was talking about it to Jeremy, and Alex, and and, uh, and Alex's woman. And and, I, and it, was, it sounded hella funny. It sounded like Gatti, a, yes. Yeah. <laughs> did you forget her name or what? what? <laughs> but no. But hey, hey nah, hold I'm the fuck up. But why did you make a serious? You said yeah, I was talking it to uh, to Alex, Jeremy, and Alex's woman. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's, that's Alex's female. Like, no, I understand that, but why'd you have to get all mad when you said that? Because I'm jealous. Jesus. Because I'm jealous. Of, you single? Alex? Yeah. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but I was telling them, because it did that sound like I was in a relationship when I was telling them, and they were just yeah. laughing at me. So, and you, how did you say it? Say it one time for the camera. So I was basically just saying Pollo was my main at first, and then uh, my homie Gabe, he, was, he would like always offer to cut my hair. And I'm like, and then like I finally was down and like I started getting like really, really close to him because I mean, I would go to school with him every day, you know? Gabe? Yeah. Okay. So he, he started cutting my hair up and like, like more than Pollo, mm-hmm. right? But then like Gabe, like his schedule back, like where he worked, where he used to work, his schedule was really fucked up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you, let me find out you're still out here at the side chick, bro. Let him finish. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm, sorry, let him finish. I'm looking around and I'm like, y'all really did get that. <laughs> right. He's still, I'm, I'm he's still mad because nobody got his where, show, where, where was I, though? Where was I? All right. where, where'd you uh, come so from? You were, you were at the part where you started going more to um, Gabe. To Gabe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would, I, would, I would go to Gabe and then I, I would go to... To Pollo, only if, like, Gabe couldn't, like, cut my hair. The thing the thing about Gabe was his schedule, where he previously worked, his schedule was really fucked up. And, like, I mean, I got a life, too, you know? Like, I can't be, like, he'll be, he'll be like, come right now. Be here in, like, five, oh, ten minutes. I'm like, nah, bro, I cannot do that shit. Yeah. So I would, then I'll just hit up Pollo. I don't listen to nobody. <laughs> and, like, I'll be like, hey, put me in, like, for a, for a time in a day, right? Mm-hmm. And then he'll just Especially get me Especially females. Okay. <laughs> so, so it just came down to just scheduling. Yeah. The Convenience. I mean, yeah, because they're both really good. Mm-hmm. Who's better? Dang, on the spot. Who is it? He's like, no comment. No comment. I can't. You can't. Damn. You can't compare just your sport. wife to your girlfriend. <laughs> Can I say a little bit? No, no, no. <laughs> chill out. Where's... Can I say something, bro? <laughs> you go for it. This is just my opinion, but you like I hear a lot of people like in the hip hop community, they be like, "Oh shit, you can't disrespect Tupac. He's OG." I don't think he's that great. <laughs> I think uh, he's I think he has a few good nah, songs. No, I don't bro. think he's all that because no, because he's like, "Oh, he's a legend." I think he literally is popping just be, like rest in peace because he got killed, you know? <laughs> What do you I think, mean, <laughs> I mean, I never got around to really listening to his music, but I'm also not like a hip hop head or nothing. So, yeah, my opinion more like them wouldn't really matter. More what? Los them and stuff. Yeah. Oh, Those bookies. <laughs> Those bookies or what? What, nah, what do you listen to? When now? Like back, like back what, like then? high school? Because I felt like Tupac was right around your started... age, no? Bro, I was born in 91. <laughs> he's not that. He's like around, <laughs> he's our age, around our age. What's up, Anthony? He's Bro the died in age. 96. <laughs> <laughs> I was five. <laughs> you're saying you're 40? He thinks you're like 40. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It's definitely, it's definitely in your era. <laughs> nah, definitely not. I didn't mean That's to crazy. disrespect you like that, bro. I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> he basically just said to your face, "You old ass fucker." He's like, "You're, no, you're old as shit." No, all right. No, because I remember being like in elementary school, and I used to see all the Tupac shirts. I used to see all the Tupac stuff, and I was like, "Whoa!" Like Tupac is is the shit. I guess. I mean, well, the thing about it with him, too, is, like, I think he just, it was, a like, a... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're not going to let him talk either? No. It's... Why are we here? <laughs> go, go ahead. Why are we here? <laughs> no, the, the thing with him was that it wasn't, it wasn't so much so, like, yes, obviously his music and stuff, it was a big impact, but I think it was just a big shift in culture. That's, which you have a lot of people throughout, throughout the time. I mean, there's some people that... Just aside from like what the actual like their talent or anything like that, then just become like a an icon over something completely mm. different than what it was. So that's the way that I saw. It. That's why a lot of people put them on their shirts or stuff like that. So you're you're that's saying it's not the music it. itself. Think... You're saying it's the culture shift that he brought behind. For him. I mean, for a lot of people that were around in his era, yes, it was the music. But okay. then after that, like for later on, the reason why it also lives past that is not just because of his music. Yes, I think it was that because the the biggest thing was uh, the discussion was him and Biggie, who was. 
But it was like, I, and, but also and back and then I would it say was, hands down, just music, just as far as music goes, Biggie, hands down, is way better. What's your favorite Yeah, song? I mean, but it, it was just such a big, because it also back then it was just such a East Coast, West Coast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was also the yeah, that was the thing, the He's, biggest thing too. That's why I was like, oh, this person is like the biggest in on this side, and then you know, different times, right, 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 different times, Dif- yeah, definitely different times. But I think yeah, <laughs> yeah funny, because the because the conversation shifted to because I can understand that I can understand that if if there's a culture switch, um, <laughs> if there's if there's a culture switch behind his music, I understand why he would be an icon. And people would be like, holy crap. But, like, say people who are, like, youngins and stuff like us, too. Uh, or like him. not No, easy. like us. <laughs> like no, him. We're definitely the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're 18? Yeah. Yeah. So people around, like, our age and stuff, uh, the conversation is always like, nah, dude, Tupac's music. Like, yo, this shit's a bop. Like, you can't well, he also, disrespect this, you know? And it's like, Him, too, nah. was, like he was super lyrical so a lot of this stuff too that was the other thing too is like if you're super like and that's what i'm saying i'm like i think you i think you really have to be like you really have to be like a hip-hop head or yeah you know like really like that to like you know to respect it and to really appreciate it for what it for what he did and for what he was let's take it as a north or tupac era. go <laughs> the tigers of the north bro Hey, but what's your favorite <laughs> Biggie song? I probably listened more to they that said, hey. just because of my parents. They said the West Coast Tupac. versus East Coast? Nah, the North. The North. <laughs> the, north. the Norte, baby. The Norte. The Tigers of the Norte, bro. <laughs> the Tigers of the North, baby. Yeah. I mean, I never really listened to much Tupac or Biggie, like, full album, you know, listen to their music. I probably listened to just their popular songs, you know, like, what is it, All Eyes on Me or something like that mm-hmm. for Tupac? You know, which, is, which is an all right song, yeah. The mainstream songs, California Love. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of songs yeah. that you know those those get played throughout. And that one's actually a thing. Which one? Hit 'em up. Hit 'em up. Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. think I remember that. It starts it starts off with first I'll fuck your bitch. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> so what did you guys think about the hologram in Coachella? They stopped doing oh, those. They just did like a couple and then they stopped. Were they did they suck? The hologram? I don't know. Uh, well, the the last one that a lot of people were talking about was uh, a lot of people thought for the this Drake concert. Oh, he did one. Oh no, yeah. No, they thought they thought that. So he has a part in the throughout the concert where he gets like basically like a kid that looks like him, like when he was a kid, and he's like on a couch, and a lot of people and throughout that, so Drake goes and he sits down next to him and he hands him like a book. And people were tripping out over that. Was like, how does a hologram, like, how can a hologram mm-hmm. hand them the a book. book? Like, that's crazy. But I think they just made it look like it. Or I don't know if they did that on purpose, but um, it turned, it wasn't, it was actually like a kid. Like, it oh, was actually a kid that was yeah. there. And was then it, later on, he like came out with them and he was like talking with mm-hmm. them. But did, they, did it have like a, ho- like maybe like it on the face? Like it looked like it because I think it was, it was just a face and just, and the actual body, but the face was actually. Hologram? Yeah. Interesting. I think How that's what it was. It's no, crazy. I, I think no. it was just yeah. No. It was because then later on he came out with like the the kid and because I think I don't know I don't know if they did that on purpose but it 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 looked like it though because I did mm-hmm. when I first saw it I'm like that's crazy I'm like because it, it the way that it kind of like glows you know you could mm-hmm. you can tell like yeah. when, like when it's, it's like fake. the holograms like yeah, you can yeah. tell and yeah that's kind of what it was with him, with that one but then yeah then he came out with them and he like introduced them and stuff and. Then people, then people realize obviously it, it was, it was just him. Like it was a kid. It wasn't an actual hologram. But mm. that was the last bit. But yeah, I don't. I hadn't heard of anybody using the holograms. I think Tupac definitely. Maybe it just doesn't that. look. Yeah, I think that was like the first big one that they did, huh? Well, was I there, think it, I, also just like trends too. Yeah. I just saw a video. When was it? Maybe a few weeks ago. I think it was a Jenny Reda one. I think I don't know if that one was a hologram. I don't mm. know if you guys saw that. I, you know, I was I never so. into her music. Me either, but I j- it just came across like I don't think it was for us. Huh? She didn't write it for us. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> she was, singing, we she de- was fr- singing for the single moms. We weren't her demographic, then. huh? Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this guy wasn't even born. Yeah, like, and you guys are probably super little, so I Jenny? doubt you guys are listening to that. <clears throat> well, there's a whole conspiracy around her death, right? That she was like yeah. running Bro, for the cartel. Like, or something There's like a that. Conspiracy behind like everything. Almost Everyone's everything. <laughs> no, dude, the guy from France, Chandler. Crazy. Of what the was that the one the reset the one the that died in the hot tub. Oh yeah, the drown was there yeah. a story behind that or what? 
So I guess he just had a heart attack in the hot tub. But here's the conspiracy. <laughs> a ver. Here's the conspiracy, guys. <laughs> no, uh, I guess there was like uh, multiple interviews where he had said like, oh, if I'm ever in desperate need of help and stuff, uh, I'll send a bat signal is what he said. And I guess uh, coming up to his death, he had posted multiple random posts of like he was like a. Uh, It was like the skyline of a city, and he's like, "Oh, uh, the bat signal's out." And then there's this other one that was like of a car that was like, "Oh, the Batmobile." I feel like Batman. And then the last one was in the hot tub, and he said uh, something along the lines of, uh, "I'm Batman," like something, something, something. I'm Batman. Oh, yeah. I didn't see. I didn't see about that. I had just seen about it, but hmm. but but I I don't know him to be like a controversial or being like. Or, I mean, but I also, know. would you ever know? I mean, there's yeah. so many people in different things that I don't think you would ever even, even with some of the people that you would probably least expect it. So. Well, I'm surprised they haven't killed Mark Cuban because of his, like, medicine uh, website. Oh, yeah, Mark yeah, Cuban. yeah. I'm surprised they haven't killed him. Yeah, because he started doing everything for super cheap, that website that he launched. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't mm-hmm. know you about that. You think you're just giving oh, him a little bit of time? Or? I don't know. I don't know how... I, have no, I'm surprised that there ha- haven't been, like, sexual assault charges. For, you know, because they start doing that stuff, and then the media comes after you about all that, yeah. all that kinds of stuff. It's kind well, of crazy. So what kind of medicine? Is it just, like, medicine in general? So, Pretty much everything. Like so everything basically, that. like, every, so the ho- when you go to the hospital, they charge you for, right, for the medicine and stuff, and they don't show you how much they got it for or, or why they're charging what they're charging for all of these, all the uh, medicine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in, on his website... Uh, he has the whole chain. Like this is how much we bought it for, and this is like the yeah. So it's just like flat a little rate bit of a, a that charge. we yeah we yeah. we bump up the price this much percentage, uh, just flat over the over every everything, and you get it for literally a fraction of the price. Like something yeah. that you would get for say fifteen hundred bucks, you'll you'll get for like three hundred two hundred bucks on his website. Same exact thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah. So he's like. I'm guessing not enough people know now for it to really make a change, but it could potentially like just blow up the whole. Well, you're exposing form. them, so I don't know now. Well, I know now after we release this, probably the whole world will know about it. So yeah, yeah. we might. Sh- I might die in a hot tub <laughs> <laughs> if I send a bad signal. <laughs> Yo, if I send a bad signal, guys, please, please come for me. <laughs> Damn. No, All right, well, guys, please come. <laughs> <from> <laughs> that was fucking fast. Was that? That, was Wait, fast. What was that What was that, though, for real? That, it wasn't Yo, a, I heard a big a ass thump. Yeah. It, it wasn't a gunshot, yeah. but it was like. No, I think hit. it sounded like someone just breaking in to steal a machina to spray. No, <laughs> I don't have any. Nothing, not in that. The alarm will go off <laughs> on any of the cars. Guys, if you guys are Some, looking for. Something blew up. If you guys are looking for a custom painting, hit up uh, the best painter in Oregon. Damn. Of course, of course. Custom painting. Got you. He does uh, epoxy flooring as well <laughs> next summer. Coming soon. <laughs> coming coming soon. soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming real soon. No, dude. You know what I was uh, just thinking about? The other day I went to a party with this guy. Bro, when I tell you I suck at going to parties, I'm not good at small talk. I suck at small talk. Like with people that I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that was kind of the... well. No, I guess it was a little bit different, the conversation that we were having. But I was saying about you going to certain places where you were saying you don't like to go to, like, the club or anything because yeah. you can't talk. <laughs> hey. Nobody can hear you. Yeah, nobody can hear you. So it's like all you, all, you, all you can say is, hey, what's up? Hey, pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yo, you, you want to get out of here, go somewhere a little bit quieter? <laughs> Which I'm surprised yeah. coming from him, too. I'm like, I would think that's, like, your vibe, so... I hate nah. I like being somewhere where you can actually talk and I can say some some shit to like some crazy shit, you know? <laughs> and actually hear me. <laughs> where you like, hear me hear say that crazy shit. Know, so you can hear like, what, exactly what, what I of, said. Yeah. What kind of crazy shit are you talking about? Well, let's uh, guys let's get into detail. Well <laughs> <clears throat> look guys, I think the Barbie movie was a pretty good movie. I saw it, Margot Robbie. The which one? The Barbie movie? You didn't watch it? No. Nah. It was, it was not. It was pretty kid. whack. It yeah, a, it, it was pretty whack. Kid, it wasn't a kids' movie. It wasn't a kids' movie. They were popping a lot of fucking weird jokes. Was it? I I, I didn't watch it. Well, it, I mean, it was. I had from just what I had seen, it was just something having to do more so with like the business side of it, wasn't it? Like exploiting. Nope. 
No? No, it had everything to do with basically... Uh, Girls running everything. Women, no, basically like trying to shed light on uh, the patriarchy and how men run the world and how women rights and stuff like that. But women shouldn't have rights. <laughs> <laughs> Man... That's cut. I'm out. On the, <laughs> uh, no comment. This guy. No comment on my end on that one. Yo. And that's the crazy shit he wants everybody to hear. <laughs> and that's why Adam. This is why he doesn't want to be at a club because then nobody's gonna hear him say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's the kind of crazy shit Brandon says when you talk to him. That's what he wants. To, no, that's what he wants to tell you. To your face. He wants to <laughs> that's what he wants. To, he wants to make sure you hear that shit. <laughs> topics. Yeah, let's just fucking topic? yeah. Any, different topic, guys. <laughs> Favorite NBA team? Go. And don't say the crappy ass Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> if you already know. Don't ask. <laughs> it's Lakers. Are you Blazers? So, I mean, is it true the rumors that Dam Damian Lillard is getting um, traded? <laughs> He's literally what? already played like how many games? <laughs> You do, know, you do know he's already playing for a team, right? Guy. Is it true he's actually getting traded? Is it true? <laughs> he's already in the, his new Bro, team. Bro, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, watch, I don't, I don't watch basketball in already. I don't know. <laughs> living in a cave. I just don't watch basketball. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to. I'm a new. I'm a newcomer. Go to so you get some fancy water and you get us fucking the worst out of all the waters. Fucking up. I don't know if you guys like sparkling water. <laughs> you afraid of bubbles? Look at that gold and everything. Damn. Let me get him the aquafina. I had to bring my own. I mean, really? even that, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even. I, I didn't even bring. I didn't. I didn't bring anything. I thought there was gonna be like. He brought you drinks. one. Yeah, it's right there. So Damien Lillard, huh? What team did he go to? Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah. The Bucks. And who did? Who did we get? It was a trade, or he just fucking left, or how does no, that work? No, it was a trade. Uh, but it was a it was a three way trade. They traded uh, with also with uh, the Phoenix Suns, which also got a pretty good, actually some uh, with uh, Aiton. So he's pretty good center. He's been he's been doing solid, no? Yeah, he's been doing yeah. solid. For I mean, Blazers. I'm not mad at the new squad, honestly. They're they're young, but there's a lot some pretty good talent. I mean, we had the third pick in the draft this last one, so. Your team. I've been getting into golfing, guys. Uh, Tony, we've been going to the range. So, <clears throat> well, three you guys have been to the range. Brand, um, not, I don't really go as much as Brandon. Brandon's actually really good at golf. He got really good at golf. I'm, some people call me uh, Tigre Maderas. Um, <laughs> Nobody calls you that. Yeah. Yeah. Just calls himself that. Just, <laughs> just for the <laughs> record, not a not a soul, not anybody. <laughs> All right. Well, Somebody, some, that's cool. Some people in his world. Well, don't say that like it's made up. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> you just made that up. All right. Okay. Whatever, guys. <laughs> whatever. No, yeah, but follow at Gold Swing. What do you guys like to do? What do you guys like to do, like, for fun, though? Like, if you guys are planning a day to go hang out with the boys or to go hang out <clears throat> with a group of people, what do you guys like to do? Because I fucking hate the club. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too big on that. I, w I would much rather go, yeah, like, top golf or something, bowling. Bowling is my shit too. Yeah, like I, like, I mean, pool. I mean, it, I mean, it, I, I feel like at our age, once you also have kids, like you also and you hang, like you get together with other, you know, dads too as well. So it's like more of a mellow, mellow vibe. That's cool, you know? bro. That you can cons that you consider me a dad, bro. That's pretty sick. What's that for? I mean, well, I think he was we've been gonna, hanging out lately. Well, I mean, I think he's including so, like over here. Like nah. no, and then no, he, he, he called me that. He's, then with he called us, me dad. then it's you know we're going to like the Heidi. You Bell. called him a dad, daddy. Or yeah. Well? <laughs> yeah, that's, what? that's what we're yo. talking about. <laughs> hey yo, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, yo. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yo, yo. Hey, yo. all right, all right, all right. My better interrupt you. <laughs> no, but like, like I, yeah, like I said, different vibes with different people. It just depends with what kind of who you, who you hanging out with. I guess you yeah. know. So you go hang out with the dads. It's more of a mellow thing. It's just mm -hmm. trying to like Usually. get some stress down. You hang out with this guy. It's just a bunch of fucking there racist like, stuff. Throw that the out. Fuck up. Hey, if no, I, no. I just started uh, hanging out with him. Him and Alex going to the the Harry Bell. I've yeah. only been just got into it. And I know how's they've that been experience going to it. for you? Have you ever been to Harry Bell, Antonio? Uh, not one here. No. In Mexico. 
I, I actually just the this last time that I went, I think when I was little, I mean, I was born in Mexico and I was raised in the in like a rancho. So, oh, OK, like growing up, I mean, it was small, too, though. So it'd be like some of the local ones that they would do there. And like here and there, we would go to some of them, which are crazy. And definitely got a I, the, I think probably the craziest thing there on one of them. I remember there was this uh, this bull. It was just super big and had some like long ass horns. And this, like, I think to one of the horses or something, ended up going into it with oh, one of the horns, bro. Oh, Because they, they wouldn't put, because, you know, like, here, I think you go to a lot of them, and they'll put, like, the yeah. stuff on the horn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, bro, it, <clears throat> that was crazy. And I was, yeah, I must have been, what, like, four or five years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we used to go to some of them, because it was, like, pretty close by. But I, how, what, do you, what are your thoughts on the on the Haripels that we've been going, like, I like them. I have a good the, time. I, yeah, I think I think they're pretty cool too. Like, cause I stopped going for like a really long time. Like, I just started going. The first one I went to, like, like again, like after like a few years, was mm-hmm. with you. That first one that we went to. Okay. And then, <clears throat> I think they're cool. Beers overpriced, but they're cool. They're they're fun. I mean, that's gonna be every event. I think. I yeah. think <clears throat> no. I think especially Heidi Pels here. How much is it? Eight, ten bucks. Uh, ten bucks a beer, and then the, the last week. I mean, Last you week, go to any concert that's that's is that what standard. it is at concerts too? Oh, yeah. Is it oh, okay? Yeah, and then and then Games, uh, anything, like really. uh, mixed drinks at, at the last Harry Potter we went to. Jeremy didn't go to that one. It's like a cup, like this big, twenty bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's yeah. I mean at most of the places because you got to think about it. That's like their main way of making money. Yeah. That's that's gonna be the biggest. So I they make it off of like all the liquor and the beer and all that. So food too. They got a tax. Sure. That's crazy. I think the one thing that I do hate about Harry Bells is that they're very disorganized when they come to like the beer distribution. Um, I heard Alex told me that this last one was pretty good, but mm-hmm. usually the ones in the summer, dude. Oh my god, you'll you'll be waiting in line for half an hour. There'll be guys that <clears throat> oh. there'll be the guys that cut just straight to the front and they just cut in front of everybody and they give no fuck so if you just say something they're ready to square up and it's like that's how fights happen yeah and (laughs) it's like and it's like is this beer really worth a fucking fight right now like what the at that point probably bro you gotta keep the buzz going you've been waiting for 29 minutes you're third in line (laughs) this guy just cuts in front like this beer might be worth it (laughs) it's It's like it's like 110 degrees outside You're just like, let him pay for it and then just take no, it. No, but it, it's ridiculous because these motherfuckers, like, I remember the last time I saw somebody confront them, it was like guys, it was like three people right in front of me. And the guy just cuts right in front. And I'm like, oh, another one? And yeah. then the guy at the front is like, hey. And the guy literally turns around. He's like, okay, what? Like, ready to fight. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, luckily, I, I we haven't had that experience on these because these past ones they are usually not big lines. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it then I mean, you on. just see like a guy build like Jeremy, a guy build like me, a guy build like Alex. Damn. Like, not like me. No. <laughs> a guy build like they saw they saw you. A in guy build like Brandon. Like purpose. you're not gonna. You know what? This guy looks like we can cut him. <laughs> like like you're not you're not gonna do nothing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> It was a joke, yeah. guys. I don't know, but I don't yeah, want to fight new, anyone. It's actually it's a new experience for me. Second time going to Haripo. I don't know how to dance, so it's like <clears throat> trying to learn. Oh yeah, I'm trying that's, to learn how to dance. Is that's just, the, like the biggest thing too. Yeah, because that's one of the main things. You know, that was to go look at the bulls, but then the grupos and everybody started dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes a difference. Mm-hmm. Did you get backstage? What? No. I mean, I mean, I can kinda, see the backstage from the front. Were like, you guys, did you guys get, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean that. Did you guys get get VIP? That's always, what I meant. always. You guys did for real? A table? <laughs> we've, mm-hmm. got, we've got two times. But yeah, which well, actually, I was telling him once we, we were there, like towards the, la- the last thing, the three hours, because it was from it was a long event, ended at like two. Yeah. And um, they just let everybody in to the VIP. Yeah. So, so I'm like, <clears throat> we so that's just, the thing. It's it's like almost not fair. Well, I think the VIP is for the for to watch the Bulls, right? Not yeah, the but then you also have access. You have table, no? you also yeah you get a table, right? Just but then the you also have much. access to like seeing the grupos, the, yeah. the bandas and stuff up close. I mean, because you pay for it, right? You pay you pay the money to get all that access, right? 
And then they just fucking let everyone in, like, for free. Like, what the and fuck and is that bullshit? everybody just stole the tables and chairs. Yeah, like, everyone just <laughs> stole our shit. Everybody just started running in We there. leave. VIP, like, we you leave. Get VIP, you get VIP, VIP so for I, everyone. Alex, Alex, <laughs> Alex and Kati go, to, go somewhere. I don't know where they went. You don't mean Alex and his female? I mean, I was going to say it, but I didn't want you. I didn't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Alex and Kati went to, I don't know where, yeah. get food, or I don't know what the fuck they want to go do, but. Well, yeah. And then, like, everyone just fucking, like... Everybody just booked just it everyone in. Everyone just in came in, like, running. Like, he's about to get tackled or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> were, they, were they just going to start the music or what? No, no. It's, it was already, yeah, like, halfway through because I think it was it started at, what, 6? I think it was around I think they opened 10, in, like, 30. at 10, something, yeah. When they opened, they opened it... Yo, that's crazy. 10, 30, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they Dude. opened up the, the, the entrance for everybody to come in. So then yeah. everybody just started running and stealing their, the tables. And the next thing you know, there's like fucking like five couples at our table and shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, at your table? Yeah, like, at, at all the tables. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm exaggerating. But there was actually people at our table. I've, like, never, actually like been to, all of them. I've never actually been to a Haripel or a club where I'm at VIP and it's, and it's good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's always uncomfortable... It's it's uncomfortably like it's unorganized. Like there's people yeah. walking through and coming in and out and then you have to be like, Hey bro, get the fuck out. Like, why do I have to then go confront people to get yeah. out of our VIP section? <clears throat> yeah. I think you shouldn't depends. have to do that. It depends know? on the clubs though, because, yeah, I mean I, well, I can only speak for clubs. I don't I haven't been to like the Heidi Bells and stuff. Yeah. But at clubs when you do get them, like I think it depends on the club because some of the clubs have better like just organization. So yeah. They're able to kind of keep all the sections separate and, you know, if obviously people are trying to get into there, then they're like, nah, like you'll have the security and making their rounds and all that. So <laughs> when we went to the day fade, the last day fade we went to, we had the VIP section next to the stage and there was this one guy who came in and he walked in at first just to like go backstage because that's the only way you can get through it. Right. Because we were right beside the stage. So he came in, walked through our VIP section and went back. We're like, okay, whatever. And then he started, like, creeping in little by little, right, oh, in the back. I knew what he was doing. <laughs> and then he, te he texted these two girls, and then they came over to the section. He's like, yeah. And they came in. And I'm sitting there, and I'm watching this all unroll. And I'm like, <laughs> the audacity. Like, what? Did you guys tell him anything? But, yeah, so... First of all, we, and everybody was looking, but then they're like, oh, whatever, right? But for some reason, bro, it just bugs me, too. So I'm like, hey, bro, uh, this is our VIP. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, my bad. And he leaves. And the girls are just awkwardly there. They're just like, uh, like yeah, can you guys leave also? <laughs> like, what can we stay? Uh, I think your guy just left. Yeah, uh, your you guy just wanna... left you, so... The thing is, the fact that it was also next to the stage, a lot of people were just going through there. Uh, so it just made it like yeah. easy, easy for people to just like chill there as well. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but uh, we did release some new hats, Ascend Fitness. Jeremy's wearing them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a pretty fucking badass hat. It, I got to say. Oh, I didn't even see the tag on the side. The hat's Lit. Well, uh, it's fucking sick. Yeah. It's a sick hat. Yeah, I'm it's, currently not wearing one, uh, but they're sick. It's a sick hat. I gotta say, it's the best hat that we've released, and the only one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, guys, we will leave a link uh, down below. Uh, link is in the Instagram bio as well. Go cop them. Uh, yeah, go cop them. Uh, yeah. Go, go cop them. <laughs> Please go cop them. We're in major debt. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, please. We don't please. know what to do. I thought, you, I thought you had a sweatshop in. We in don't. Your, in your well, room. don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't say that. Bro, no, no, no. You, have you seen the Dave Chappelle video? He's like, I like to cut the middleman out, and he has a sweatshop <laughs> in his fucking house. That shit's so funny. <laughs> the old, old Dave Chappelle is the goat, bro. I mean, new Dave Chappelle is pretty funny still. When he was blind? When he's blind? Anything Bro, white? You had to. That, that's <laughs> old as well. Yeah, did you, that, that was, did you guys that was actually get a chance too. to see like the Chappelle show? Did you? Not, go? not when no, it was huh? on air. No, just Dang, like bro. Those you clips. What? Did you? Did you go to a show on did air? You come here? No, 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 no. No, I'm just saying oh, like just, around that time when it was actually like when they were releasing popping, the yeah. yeah bro, oh did you watch God. it? You were watching it? Oh yeah. How old were you then? 
Uh, what, uh, <laughs> you man. fucking asshole. What, what are you talking about? 35, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how old are you, like 40? <laughs> no, uh, shit, when, when was that? That's, that's got to be like... High school? Probably, no. Nah. <laughs> no, that wasn't high school. That was when I was like in elementary school still. <laughs> this was probably like sixth grade, bro. <laughs> How old do you think he is? This is fucking... Dude, Damn. high school. Hey, do, do you, did you actually hang out with Jesus Christ? <laughs> bro... I think it was I think it was more fucked up that he thought he was in high school than me saying he was 40. No. No, because I don't know when the Dave Chappelle show was on air. It was not because I think he's old. It's because I don't know when it was in air. I don't know what times it was. Yeah. All right. I'll let it slide. That's got to be like 90s in the 90s probably. <laughs> was it? No. Uh, Tony, Tony was it? No. No, it wasn't cuz I wasn't even over here in the 90s. I got here at the end of 1999. So it started here in 2000. Early 2000s. Oh, so you didn't know even who Tupac was. Because you were, were just not. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. To go back to that. Yeah, that's another reason why I wouldn't have known. I didn't come to the U.S. until So who was 99. popping in Mexico when you were, who were you listening to? At five, I don't think he would know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't I, I couldn't remember. How, well, I was eight when I get, got here, so. <laughs> You guys don't remember no. your favorite artist when you were eight? <laughs> no. Mine was Sean Paul. I wasn't just listening Actually, to music mine, all the time. Back mine was then. Sean Paul. Temperature? Are you kidding me? Mine was Chief Keef around that time. When, when you I were was eight? Yeah, when I was eight. Chief Keef? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Wait, wait just, a minute. That sounds Chief about Keef. right, though. Chief Keef was. Eight? Chief Keef or 50 Cent? I think it was. <laughs> that was not cent. the same time. 50 that was, Cent. That, that's so far. Bro, I think it was like when I was like five or some shit. Eight? I don't even remember. I, I think I, it, I was like 10, 11. Love. It'd be like, you know, 50 Cent and what? Akon around that time, probably? Yeah. Ja Rule. 50 Cent Ja Rule beef. Yeah. Around that oh, time. yep. Yeah. Ja Rule, I think, I think it's safe to say he lost that beef. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 50 is probably like the king troll, I would say. The king troll of trolls. Yeah, then. Ja Rule. Eminem, too, at that time, huh? Eminem. Who did he Early beef 2000s. with? Ja Rule as well, huh? Who? Eminem. Yeah. I when, think so. When 50 Cent came to, uh, to uh, signed with uh, Eminem and uh, Dr. Dre. You know what was the most, one of the most petty things that 50 did to Ja Rule? That, that's what I heard? Oh, the concert thing yeah, when he bought the tickets? Bro, that's... Damn, I don't know if it was a fake clip or not. There was people saying it was, oh, there was people the... saying it wasn't. When he was like, "Are you all ready?" and nobody uh, said, nothing. "I think that was fake." I think that fake? one was fake. Yeah, oh, I think man. it was the one in the basketball, basketball court, like halftime show. So, well, did it, did oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it actually, uh, there I think that two. one was legit. There might have been two. Yeah, I think it was. It was a full concert where he was like, "Are you all ready?" Uh-huh. And then it was like dead silent. And then he's like, I said, are you ready? Yeah, huh. You might be talking DJ Khaled. Nope. I'm not. No? No big deal. Anyways, We're back. now that we got rid of the blacks, <laughs> the black screen. The, Tony, the black screen. <laughs> Tony, can you acknowledge what I'm saying right now? The black screen. <laughs> this Tony. Be a lot of cuts in this part. <laughs> no. We're this, talking about the this, black. This is going in. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about the black Bro. screen. Yeah, I know. Yeah. What else, what else did you guys think? I, yeah. I know I knew you met the black Look, people. my favorite movie is Django Unchained. I'll just mention that right now. Quentin Tarantino, go. Who's your guys' favorite? Interesting choice, but all right. What? It's a great movie. Mo- favorite movie. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite movie. You don't have a favorite movie? <laughs> no. Coach Carter, bro. Uh, Ted is a really Coach good Carter. movie. Which one? Ted. Oh, Ted. Ted? I yeah, have it's that. A, in, it's a funny one. I have that, yeah. I have that in Blu-ray. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I don't really have a favorite movie. That's great. I just like watching. I mean, I want to say all movies. The but... first and second scary movie. Did you guys ever mm, watch those? Yeah. Oh, I watched them yeah. way long ago, but not. I think I don't remember enough of it to actually have it up on my favorites. I don't think I have a favorite movie. Yeah, I mean, it's my I'm not, age. I'm not a very big my movie time. or show guy. <laughs> no, like no, like. Well, I, I like watching them, but I'm not like super deep to where. Yeah, like, yeah, me, yeah, me too. To where like, oh, <clears> just. Movie's terrible. I think yeah. any Quentin Tarantino movie is 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 a banger. He's. I think if if I had to choose my favorite movies, uh, it would all be Quentin Tarantino. 
Hateful I Eight. I have uh, no idea who that is. But. The director, Quentin Tarantino. No idea. So Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Django Unchained, and Glorious Bastards. I mean, you're talking about yeah, directors. Yeah, I thought you were talking about like, that's what actors. I'm saying. Only someone that's really into like movies yeah. or like well, type what, of movies or how they. What's a recent like Netflix show that you guys have gone really into? Uh, or, or I don't watch it. Or novella for your in your case. <laughs> 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 Novelas. I don't Novelas. know what y'all be watching in Mexico, bro. I don't know. <laughs> Why always leading to Mexico? Bro, I've <laughs> literally <laughs> been here for <laughs> entire life. Wait, are you are you documented? What? <laughs> <laughs> You could ask. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Are you? Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold up. up. Do, do we, all got, per, we all got the? We all got the permits to be here. Right? <laughs> hold on. Don't worry, bro. I'll turn off my wires. So they, they, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, damn. That's crazy. Yo, we got, we got yes. It. It's like, yes. It's like a light turn on. Like, no, wait. Hold the fuck up. Like, are you undocumented? Wait, uh, <laughs> are you supposed to, like why are you acting offended bro? Yeah, yeah. you better bro, be documented <laughs> like if you can't legally come into the country why are you <laughs> yo your dad yo, yo. I'm your, dad go, your dad's gonna sock you with these, these, these. <laughs> we're, we're sending it straight to him I don't, I don't, I don't is, have a dad is this your son <laughs> yeah not, when, whenever your dad comes back in your life he's gonna sock you Hopefully one day I see him. <laughs> <laughs> no, so so it's let's not that it's, no, it's okay, it's okay. Let's go back to Just so you were talking about Netflix shows. Yeah, like, no, so enough you, about your dad. <laughs> so my, we were asking him. <laughs> what are you no say you have? Oh, you said, you well, this guy oh, trying to oh, trying to act like I'm sitting here watching novelas <laughs> in Mexico apparently because I'm in Mexico. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess you're such an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, just got here the other day just for this podcast. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Yeah, um, <laughs> Thank you for making your way out. Undocumented, by the way. <laughs> well, well, I guess I'll say a show since you asked. I did. Um, I started watching this. Couple, was it yesterday? A couple days ago. It's called Surviving Paradise. It's just about. It's like about a group of people that start living in the wilderness. And the goal is to build alliances so you can get sent to like a luxury villa, and get a ch- like and have a chance to win like a cash prize of like I think it's like two hundred k. I don't think I've heard that. No. It just, it's, it's that new. reminded me it's of Squid new. Games. I just it's just something that Squid randomly game? popped yeah, up on Netflix, and I was like, oh, shows. I'm just gonna watch it. I but just, I also I also haven't seen yeah I haven't, I haven't really seen a lot of like Netflix shows. What do you watch shows on Max? No, I don't. No, I honestly don't really watch TV like that no more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here and there, if my wife picks up a show, then we'll watch that. The Kardashians. Or what novelas does she watch? Like, uh, no, we Bro, watch the low key, low key. The Kardashians is entertaining as fuck. Low key. You watch it or what? I used to. I, I, I just started picking back up. No, I think one of the last ones that we were watching, I think, was uh, Power. Mm-hmm. And then oh, like Power the, is cool. Mm-hmm. The other shows that they came out with. Aside from that, too. Yeah, the mm-hmm. side ones that they have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I think those were like some of the last, like, but I don't even think that was even on Netflix, though. I think the last no, that show? Wasn't even that was on but Stars. But it's a show, though. That was on Stars? Yeah, it's yeah. HBO. H- Something like no, that. Oh. HBO or Stars? HBO Max? Stars. I don't, they, they so I think they were, they were changing them, too. Yeah. So I think they were on Stars for a minute, and I think they changed them to HBO. I don't know if it's the same thing. But. The, the last show I watched was, I think, it might BMF be. and Snowfall. I don't know if you guys have heard of them. Snowfall? No. no. It's a, Snowfalls are actually a really good show. What's that one about? Drug trafficking? Mm, those were super cool. popular for a bit. Like all those. I've seen Narcos. Well, I think, yeah. I think that was like... What'd you guys think of uh, Narcos Mexico? I didn't like it. I didn't watch it. Why? I didn't watch it either. Why? It wasn't like that in real life or what? No... No, not know? so much that. I, th- I mean, I don't, I don't know exactly how it was, but um, yeah, it just like from starting to watch it, just didn't seem that entertaining. Oh, okay. So it's just like the pacing of it, or what? <laughs> it's just like, yeah, always, oh, it goes back. Go back like to, I know if anything oh, has to do with Mexico, know. apparently I know it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you lived it. I don't know. <laughs> At five years old, were you there? <laughs> 
I didn't see were, that. Were, were you part of the operation? <laughs> he's talking about the pacing. No. Of the, because he's saying it wasn't entertaining, and I said, was it the pacing of it? I didn't. Well, no, because you're like, oh, it's not like, like that. It's not like life. that in Mexico? <laughs> I've never uh, been. No, you just went to Mexico. I've never been. Yeah, we have. At the same age. We probably were there at the same time. Oh, we were, we were there last year? No, no when, when, when you kids. guys were little, and yeah, when I used to live there, we? exactly like the same age. You <laughs> he just went. I I did just go. That's uh, what I'm saying. He just went to Mexico last year. You think I'm gonna remember what I was doing when I was three fucking years old over there in Mexico? <laughs> well, apparently he does. Right? <laughs> I'm supposed to. <laughs> no, I'm saying that he no, no because he was there till he was 18. He said eight. 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 <laughs> no. Eight. <laughs> Okay, I added 10 years, so what? <laughs> All right, so I added a one in front of that. All right, whatever. Jesus Christ. No, it's just there till eight. But no, it was it was more so, I, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I just didn't really like the pace of it. I think just, I don't know. It, it did start it off, off really slow, I will say that. Yeah, it came off different because I, I feel like the other one, it kind of like got you like it sucked right you in. right in. And then this one was just like, I don't know. It, I don't know what it was or if it was just kind of... You kind of already heard everything, so it was, mm -hmm. I don't know if it just wasn't that interesting anymore. How many seasons are, are, are out right now? I only watched that first season. It's only, it's only two seasons of Mexico. Probably. But of Narcos, though. Narcos, Narcos, I think there was like four or five. Yeah, it was. Oh, I only watched that first one with, with what is because it? Because there's, there's the Pablo Escobar, then there's the Cali Brothers. Yeah. So I mean, there's was... two seasons of Pablo Escobar, I think. And then there's the Cali Brothers, I think was just one season. Yeah, I and then so. I think there's uh, the two Mexico ones. So yeah, I think I mean, there was a few of them, and I mean I think because everybody everybody was super consumed into that. That's oh, why everybody dude, was watching was the, that. Dude, and I mean you have you have you know you have white people coming up to you like narcos, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you grow up with them? Did you know them? <laughs> so how accurate is it, really? <laughs> Look, I, I grew up two houses from you, Cheryl. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we, we grew up together. <laughs> Cheryl, I've been next to you my whole life. <laughs> All right. Hey, Brandon. Yes? <laughs> Why you got to say it like that? Yes. That's my name, yeah. Tony? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you just giggly? How are you feeling? Doing great, man. Happy to be here from Mexico. How you, yeah, and thank you for coming and making all the way out yeah. here. No, no problem. <laughs> did you. Are the chairs. Did you, uh, did you swim Mexico? over here? <laughs> oh, honey, yo. I actually don't know how to swim, so no, I didn't swim over Also, here. you just crossed through the desert? He just flew over here. He has a passport. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you do it? Just like you would, Cheryl. Just like you. Would. I was right behind like you. you in the line. <laughs> I think we sat next to each other on the airplane. But you know. Oh shit! I don't know if you're talking about the first time, but the last time that I went to Mexico, I went to Mexico and came back. So. No. <laughs> what part did you go to Mexico again to go for vacation? Well, I just went back to where I was born, to oh, back to yeah. How did you Northern first Nigeria. get into this? How did you first get into the states? Like, if you don't mind me asking. How did I get first in? Well, we the first time we tried to go through like the basically like the mountain, I guess, like desert area. Uh huh. But that didn't work, and then after that, then we ended up just um, I think the people that you usually hire to get you across. And then from there, we went to, um, to Arizona. Yeah. And then me and my brother. And then from there, we actually, your guys' dad actually picked us up. Nice. And then from there, we flew over here. And okay. that was kind of the Damn. short <clears throat> answer of it. Short, the short answer. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it can get pretty crazy from the stories that I heard. Totally. Like when you like it, when you cross it, it, it could get that's what I'm saying. I'm like, that's crazy. just a short answer yeah. <laughs> of it. Because <clears throat> yeah. I I have a a cousin that just recently came into the states, and like how he was telling me, it was pretty fucked up. 
like he said he fell on like on fucking cactuses and shit. Like oh, there's and that you can't see jack shit at night. Like, yeah, bro, you hear some wild stories. Yo, but why doesn't he have any scars though? Oh, he does. <clears throat> on, hella on his face. Nah, <clears throat> I seen him. But that's because he fell off my motorcycle. <laughs> like an idiot. No, nah, but I seen him. His face looks clean as fuck. Could it be that he's lying? Mm, maybe he's probably a fed. He's probably an informant. <laughs> Why aren't you guys fucking talking anymore? Yes. I Us? Guess. What do you mean? <clears throat> like, I feel like you're just... Do you not want to talk to me? Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just being like, really... Like, okay, yeah. It's Brandon. You just, like, look, usually you keep the conversation going. Like, Well, look. Why are you judging him, bro? Look, it's because Well, me lately, and him have been, have been lately, having relationship problems. Look, lately, oh. it so, just <laughs> felt like you've been very distant. <clears throat> All right, yeah. Okay, I see. See, that's why I Let tell you, out, you need guys. to communicate. That's why I say you need it's to communicate. because every time I communicate, you don't understand. And you don't see it through my perspective. <laughs> well, because, I mean, you want to act like a I female. Know. So, I mean, like, just go fucking cook and clean. That's, like, your fucking job. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. You said it yourself. Don't you don't have fucking rights. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be like, don't hey, this is true. You guys let it out. Yeah, let it out over there. But it's okay, <laughs> honey. I knew I felt a little tension. <laughs> Get your hands off me. You're not getting none of this. <laughs> not tonight? Nah, not ever. Again? Again. Damn. All right, so you guys saw it here first. Me and Brandon have well, officially it. broken up. <laughs> Breakup Wait. video coming soon. Breakup video explanation explanation video coming so, soon. All the single ladies hit me up. All the single I'm guys. In the market. He's not we in the just market. Broke up. We're on air right now. We broke up. <clears throat> all, all the ladies. It's, it's difficult. You guys will see me and him get I'm back not together having soon. Any rebounds. Like, literally right now, just hit the fucking phone, 503. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <clears throat> no, yeah, you guys can hit me up for Brandon's, uh, for Brandon's services. <laughs> for Brandon's funeral? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he's, I'm, I'm running a deal. Um, so I'm buy, a prostitute your... now and you're a pimp? <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I, I did not say that at all. I'm over here promoting your, your photo shoot and, and your video shoots, bro. Yeah, but you're trying to say, like, OnlyFans. No, I'm not. I never said that. He switched did, topics. Did I say he was, that? He was, he's about, uh, he was promoting. Yeah, I said we're, I said we're, we're running bundles setup. right now. It was now. all a setup just to oh, promote you. Setup, oh, yeah. go, on, go on, go on. We're running we're, special promotion right now. Photo shoot, video shoots, hit up Brandon. At, what's the at? Koyar Productions? Koyar Productions on Instagram. Hit up Koyar Productions. For all your video, E L L A R underscore productions. For all your photo and video needs, we're actually running a deal right now. If you buy one session, you'll get the second one full price as well. <laughs> that's, yeah, a, that's, that's a deal. deal. That's <laughs> that a is deal. a Black Friday deal. Deal coming up. Yeah, and that's oh, year, it is for Black Friday. That's year round. <laughs> no, like, year round. That's year round. So if you see this. Two years from now, it's still, it's still the same. It's still valid. Damn. That's crazy. That's a yeah. crazy deal. People usually, it's, <laughs> it's just a like a... deal. Yeah, it's like usually people do it for a short span, but... Not us. We're actually, we're That's very crazy. happy to say that very we, will, we will be true to to that That's innovative deal. right there. I yeah. like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very productions. And then we got Vivid Painting. Vivid Painting. Vivid yes, Painting for all your What's the ad painting there? needs. Vivid underscore Painting Co. Painting Co. Yeah. You guys running any deals right now? We actually are for the winter. Oh. Yeah. Let's hear about that. 15% it, off. Right nice. Now. There we go. <clears throat> All your painting and if you paint one of your houses, the next one is also full. And that's, but that's only for interior work. For interior. interior work. Okay. Interior. That makes sense. That makes sense. Jeremy? For the winter. I mean, everybody knows that already for Ascent Fitness. But for the, all the newcomers? For the newcomers, let's see. It's... A-S-C-N-D dot fitness. Cop the hats. I thought there was an E in there. Cop the hats, cop the shirts. No? Why do you think there was an E in there? Mm-hmm. Right because now, so. you do spell ascend with an E, but mm. that was already taken. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to improvise. We had to, hey. impro- we had to take off <clears throat> no, the letter. No, it was meant like that. It was meant to be All right. All right. Do well, you, guess, you ever feel fighting. like a plastic bag floating through the wind? All right. All right, continue well, with the, the story. The, story. the people want to hear the this story. This going to be a real. Do you guys want to send a message to your guys' friends, uh, wives watching at home? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what, kind of, <laughs> what kind of show is this? <laughs> what, did we come back from war? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> 
Are we getting shipped out? Days, so. <laughs> like, bro, I didn't serve, so I don't know. <laughs> are, are we going to start serving? What's going on? Well, I don't know. The where, way. Where, where are we going after this, <laughs> you, this you, bro? You, what the you, fuck? Yeah. I mean, the way Israel you Palestine looks at it looks like we're about to be drafted. <laughs> any, any last words to your loved ones? <laughs> Damn. Bro, bro. Any Yo, bro, last bro. Uh, Any last if words you, before we... <laughs> if you if somebody was pointing a gun to your head, what would be your last words? I don't know. If he was like, "What are your last words?" I'll be like, "Look a cock, you'll turn around and I'll just take your gun away." <laughs> what you what about you, Antonio? <laughs> <What? laughs> I don't know if I can top that. <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> "What'd you say? What'd you say?" <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Bro, I've never seen Brandon laugh this hard like so many times. Oh take, take away the liquid, liquid right, death go. water. Oh. Is there something? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was just water in that. The liquid yeah. death. Wow, that got a bad batch. <laughs> All right. Or a Antonio? really good one. <clears throat> Antonio? What? What would be your last words? I have no idea, honestly. Damn, that ass. Where? Snatch the gun. I don't think that would work. That would probably work. I mean, it just depends where you're at. Miami, probably that would work. Yeah, probably. What about you? I don't know. It's just, I think it would just depends depends where the situation. It's happening. Um, I think I would try to, I'd rather try to distract them and die that way. Yeah. Than just then going off. Yeah, but say I, something yeah. and then just take it. You know? I mean, you know, because what? Because like, I mean, what the? What, what like, let, let's be realistic. What? what let's be realistic. What? What are you gonna tell them? I love you or some shit? Like, <laughs> well, yeah. Like, you're not gonna send a fucking <laughs> well, message you, to my mom. What are you like? I'm just trying to ask some. I'm just trying to ask some questions. So we so we're saying something for the fucking podcast. You gotta like. I mean, are you really gonna say something? You fucking idiot. Well, clearly fucking not. But I'm trying to fucking get some. Some content here. <laughs> what would you say? I don't know. I guess I'll just try to die. No one said that. Get Richard and I try. We said, no, we're, no, said we're gonna try, if we're gonna go try. down. We're gonna try to. At no, least we're saying try. just looking at the actual try. situation. But I mean, if we told them something, what would it, I mean? What would be what your would last happen? meal if you were on death row? Oh, see, that's a better question. <laughs> yeah, there you see, go. See, uh, other, your other questions oh, kind of stupid, but. Uh, for me, it would be a Mexican I'll, dish, though, for sure. I'd probably do a steak, to be uh, honest. Oh, oh, nice. I'd have to say barbecue. Steak. Barbecue? Like okay. barbecue, some ribs. Some ribs? Oh, I've it's been wanting ribs for a minute. Bro. But from where, though? Ribs, like, just yeah. any, like, it has to be a specific spot, I'm assuming, that you'd want them from. Or home. Or someone. Home, that, home grilled. Well, actually, I mean, I still haven't gone to, I want to go to Texas to go try a lot of their <laughs> stuff, so I. They're known for that, huh? For yeah. The smoked barbecue? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's on the bucket list, for sure. Jeremy? Coming soon, man. Protein or what? <laughs> I mean, technically, all those meals have protein. <laughs> I don't know like what to tell protein you. Protein powders. What the, what the hell? Just, <laughs> you think that's so all I have a scoop of what? protein? In? Fucking protein shake. Is so I'm gonna get some protein, protein, protein dinner. Protein, protein, protein dinner. That's it. <laughs> You're gonna get a steak season with protein. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Man, I, I feel like it would be rat. a Mexican dish. I don't know. Maybe enchiladas. Really? But I feel like that's no, something you have all the time. Loves. That's what I'm saying. I know. That's what I'm like, thinking, to like, me, I'm like, I, I feel like it would have to be something that I don't have all the time, but that you know is, like, fire. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I know. think for me, it Green would pozole? have to be something that's, like, close to home, because you want really? to remember home. I mean, you're still going to fucking die, so. Bro, I mean. You just think. <laughs> you're saying, that's either way, if you choose something new, you're still, it still applies <laughs> what you're saying. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, you're still going to die, like. Yeah, but like, why do you want to like? I mean, you could just remember home by thinking about it. <laughs> why are you gonna like? Are you serious? Fucking... I mean, I feel it though. I mean, yeah, if you I mean, yeah, dead depends ass on how you want to look at it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Green green Tricky. pozole would be up there for me. Green pozole. Green pozole. Yeah. Who post? Did you post that green or red pozole? I put it in yeah, in your notes. In my notes on Instagram. For what? Green or red pozole. Lately, I think green. I'd have to say green. Green? Yeah. Why? Uh, just a little bit different. But then, I don't know. I think it just kind of comes down to who makes it, too. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Because, like, some people, you know, some people get yeah. down with, like, the red. And that's that's always good. Yeah, but yeah. then there's some people that just can do the green one and just uh -huh. fire. And sometimes it's better, like, green, the chicken. Green or red tamales? 
Yeah, you fuck with Tamales. So you're just going to skip me on the pozole? You fucking <laughs> yeah, I'm on the pozole. pozole. I'll get to you. You motherfucker, look. I will He's choose, just loading you I up, bro. The red, I will choose the red pozole, you motherfucker. <laughs> you, you were saying? Oh, no. Nah. Green, green or red tamales? Oh, for the tamales. Yeah. Uh, I just think the pozole, the, the, the green pozole isn't, is usually not as spicy it's as the okay, red one. It's okay. You can just ignore him. We'll you fuck put, you, you we'll, motherfucker. We'll put his mic down for the, for while you answer. Because he he's really <laughs> interrupting you. Nah, I would say I would say red though. And by the way, shout out all the people make that make them because I've tried to make them before and oh yeah, I heard I heard it's, it's hard. It's a process. lot of work, bro. I heard it's hard. It's hard. Make good ones too. Yeah, to make them good too, obviously. <laughs> yeah, because I can't do dry dry tamales, fuck, bro. Uh, Brandon, is, Brandon, Brandon. <clears throat> red or green pozole? He said red. But I'm actually asking him okay, now. This like, time, I, okay. I, like, I didn't care at, at that time. And okay. I guess the reason this time for real. why, why red pozole? I yeah. already gave the why. Oh, because it's yeah, not but we didn't, trolling right but now. We didn't Wait, you know. You're feeding into his troll. <laughs> no, we're not. I'm just, no, you you're chill? just asking you a question. <laughs> what <laughs> you mad? That's between just you guys. You <laughs> 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 All right. So you guys just really just All right. mind. Uh, green, green, green or red tamale? Green or red tamale? Bro, oh my. This is why your dad left. <laughs> this is why your dad left because he was sitting there and he was like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. he was like, hold he on. was like, look, son, hey, Brandon, do you want to eat at McDonald's or Burger King? No, I ain't talking to you yet. <laughs> <laughs> playing Game Boy. All right, so he dropped hey, you off at hey. McDonald's and never fucking came back. Hey, <laughs> hey Brandon, Brandon, yes, that's one though. What the fuck are you talking about? That's one though. One of your dads? No, that one. That's one. Two dads? No, when you were playing that really good hole, that's one. Inside joke between you guys, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Well, he can tell you the inside joke just with him. He, he can, no, he can tell you the. You. All right, I'll, I'll tell the story. All right, so we're playing scramble at Red Tail, right? And it was me and I Al- understand me that. and Alex. It was, oh, it all was, of a sudden now okay. it was it was me and Alex. Okay, okay, I get it. I versus get it. Brandon and, and Andy, right? And Brandon was playing such a good fucking hole. He was right there just to chip it into the green, right? And he was he was. Like getting ready, right? He's getting ready, and like he just barely touches the ball. Like it happens. Now you, you know? know the motherfuckers that <laughs> you know how in golf you hate the piece of shit. It's dead silent. You're about to hit a fucking nice chip, and then you barely just fucking touch it, and then you have a fucking idiot in the back. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Fucking ruins my whole fucking swing. <laughs> I was playing a hell of a fucking hole, right? He barely taps it. I'm like, I'm like that's one. Like, <laughs> and I like just giggled, right? I didn't think he was gonna hit it. Like, I thought he was gonna like still prep, right? He, he swings it and he just fucking, he knuckled the fuck out of it. It just went. I don't know where that shit disappeared. And he was so mad. Like, he was dead-ass mad, bro. Well, who wouldn't be mad at that? It's just a fucking game. No, because I'm trying to fucking play. And then you're I'm not, I'm not going some with some you guys. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yeah, dude, definitely yeah. not playing golf then. <laughs> no, this is the type of guy. Play, it's fun. No, this is, this is the type of guy to sweep to, when you're playing basketball and go into a layup. And he has no chance of getting the rebound but still sweeps your legs. And then say, dude, why are you getting mad? It's just to get That's this <laughs> motherfucker. That's this guy. Oh, God, no, that was a good that. example. Okay. <laughs> good example. Yeah, so obviously there's, there's things that are just games, but there's some etiquette to every game. Nah. No? There's no etiquette anywhere? No, yeah, like I, I was, you didn't let me finish. Weren't you guys going to play basketball? Bro, let me like tell you. Each other? Brandon, lying cap. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna cap. Brandon, I shit you not. Our first game beat me basketball. He recorded it too. Eleven zero in a game of basketball. I know. In a game of basketball. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and you're saying that like it's a surprise. Like you don't suck. I mean, I do suck, but like, and I suck too. So no, no, no. You're pretty good. I did beat. Uh, You're probably like way better than him, right? Than him, yeah, yeah, because you actually play, huh? Yeah. What do you mean? I, you, I actually play. But I was talking to him. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. No, the the pro is right here. Look, just retired from Blazers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> just retired since I'm that old. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I, how much games did we play, Brandon? We played three. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
He beat me every single game. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, the last, the last was the last two close Mm-mm. by like three, two or three points. Wait, no, no, it wasn't. Bro. You didn't get past five, bro, bro, bro. Hmm. The, last, the next games we played till seven or six, six or seven. We played to seven. Yeah, and you didn't get past five. Yeah, you did. Okay. There was one where so I, I guess, I guess you gotta post a clip. You know, we got, <clears throat> now we're curious. You know, yeah. see how the, the next games we didn't record. Well, the first one. The first one, he recorded it, and I and he beat me. Like, I literally didn't zero Where's points. Where's the tape? Honey, how far are we in? An hour 20 minutes. Damn. Well, we can still get a little. Well, I mean, we're going to probably cut, like, 20 minutes of it for half of the stuff. Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> but talking about basketball, we actually have a playoffs coming up here on the rec, the rec league that we're playing right now. Are you guys in the same team? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys got a message you guys want to say to all the other bitch ass teams? Just uh, enjoy the loss, I guess. Right. I don't know. I don't talk. Oh, that was kind of lame. <laughs> Damn. I don't think it's going to talk shit. So yeah, yeah I don't know. <clears throat> Just have fun, guys. Just have fun. Losing. You give me you let, something, bro. No. You, let the, you let the game do the talking. That's it. All no, right. but it's. Right. I mean, we just wanted a little bit of action, but. Like, yeah, yeah. No, it should be it should be fun. Um, we ended up second second seed. Um, Who's the best player in your guys' team? Probably him. Damn. And then you? Is X in your guys' team? No. No. Oh. I don't know who's second. Bro, you know you're second. You probably no. There's I bet there's you, Obed. Obed's, I bet. Is Obed's good. A good shooter. Good. I'd say Obed's probably second. I'm probably like. I don't know, bro. Third. I feel like I can lock down Obed pretty easy. Obed, I'm calling you out right now. I, I think I could take you. Damn, easy. another no 1v1 challenge. recorded? Another one? No challenge. But what's in the yeah. line? Fucking 100 yeah. bucks or something? Or dude, gonna make no. it interesting. Fucking, dude. Let's start running ones then. Damn. Just, I mean, fuck, dude. Obed. Easy. Because we still have to settle ours. Easy. Damn, man. you still got to play. I still got to beat him again? All right, well. We Damn. Can have Since there's some imaginary game where he For beat real. him. So. So this is Mexico. Might as well. We weren't in Mexico. There you go. You, the you want content? Let's get content. We can yeah. get content, bro. Damn. He's we'll put it. We'll put it on the, well, we don't, on the well, same page. I mean, if you're insinuating we play right now, we don't have a hoop. All right, we Not gotta right do now. it right now. I'll it's okay, bro. Ready. We just put a basket like a. Hey guys, mm-hmm. comment down below if you guys want to see me whoop these guys in basketball, one on one, full court. There's already also whoop. known as full getting court? whooped. He's gonna get whooped every time. <laughs> no. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Not me. We'll, we'll post it on the send. Page, we'll, we'll record some 1v1s. Dang, we should. It's you know, cool. tomorrow's Sunday. I'll probably play Brandon again sometime. Park. Let's run. Because, like, the, like, the first, like, even, like, when we were just, like, warming up, practicing shooting, I was already fucking tired. My fucking fat ass. So, I was like. If you guys want to get in tennis, you guys will get Bro, up. this guy sucks I've never played tennis, and I probably beat you at tennis, too. Not nah, true. bro, tennis is actually not fucking true. hard. I'm not even going to lie. He's pretty good at tennis. I'm, I'm so good. I mean, you go every day. I would hope you're somewhat good. <laughs> like, right? I hope so. <laughs> I would hope. Hey. It's just like golfing. I mean, you go every day. I would hope you're decent. First of all, I don't go every day because it's raining. Hey, but pickleball, bro. Pickleball is a shit. Shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> have you played that or no? Every time I play. Oh, yeah. You have? It's yeah. like. Just no, like, after you play tennis, pickleball is kind of just bitch. But isn't it? It's, it's essentially like a, a smaller version, smaller smaller version of it, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's no running involved. It's just, I feel like it's, I don't know. Might as well play ping pong at that point? Might as, that's what I'm saying. It's basically large ping pong. It's closer to ping pong than it is tennis. Ping pong yeah, is I fun. feel like, well, like we, no, I mean, eh, I don't know. So Lupita and I, we showed up to play tennis um, this one time. There was already some pickleball players. And on one court, so we got in the court next to them, and we were there for, I don't know, 40 minutes, and we were fucking sweating. And those people that were there prior to us, bro, they were still playing and hadn't even broken a fucking sweat, and they were like 80-year-olds and some... Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's more like older people that play Is it 80-year-olds? Yep. Well, that's probably the problem. I don't think their pores are that open anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm saying <laughs> that's crazy. I don't think they're going to sweat Damn, that much. Bro. I don't know about 80. <laughs> but it is. Uh, like I think, I think okay, they is... weren't fucking 80, but they were like fucking, 50? I don't know, your I mean, age regardless, or something. But they are older, though. But uh, that did, uh, I did see, I mean, I think that's why it started becoming popular, though, with older people. That's why I started seeing play. So, it, yeah, so it's popular because the barrier of entry is so, so low because anybody can just pick it up and, and be average at it. 
Yeah, that's yeah, why I mean, it's so popular, and I, I get that. And it's less because it's if it's a in a shorter game essentially, then yeah, I mean, it's easier for them to be able to do it. So exactly. Hey, man, so that's old guys a- just trying to stay active, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at the old people doing it. I'm mad at them getting in my way. I'm mad at them. No, I'm mad. You know what I'm mad at? I'm mad at them going to full tennis courts, and then we're in the mid. We just get there, and then 15 of them show up, and they're like. Are you guys almost done? Hey, are you guys almost done? <laughs> and then we're like, no, I mean, maybe Wait, another so they, 15 minutes. And is then, it used like the same nets that they use for no, a tennis so, too? Or do so they, they set up something different? They, yes, they, they bring their own nets and they split oh, one full tennis court into uh, four. four. Yeah, uh, so so it's basically a quarter of a yeah. tennis court. And what sucks is they show up in flocks, these pickleballers, right? So they show up I mean, in flocks. They're retired, bro. Yeah. So so they come and then they're like, "Hey, are you guys almost done?" And then we're like, "Yeah, maybe like 15, 20 minutes." Like when we went, and they all just stood there and just watched, just like, but not even like, "Oh yeah, yeah you guys are doing good." Just dogging us, like these. Yeah, pieces, they were just there, like these pieces of shit. They were just <laughs> the yeah, audacity. They were yeah, they were literally just staring. At we had just got there, huh? And yep. then like, then they get there. Hey, are you guys almost done? Like, <laughs> like we're not even sweating. like, hey, are you gonna pick up one, a? And we're not even fucking sweating yet. Like, yeah, and it's like, it hey, are you gonna so pick up a real sport, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I was just, yeah. I was telling Brandon, I'm like, I'm like, pickleball. <laughs> Pickle. That's how uh, it's Yeah, but you guys are like basketball players, like ho- like hoopers, right? Like uh, dribblers. What do you, what, what do the kids call them nowadays? <laughs> I don't know what. What do you kids yeah, we do? Just play basketball, man. No, uh, what okay. what's your guys' team name? The Rock. Guys, oh yeah, Rock what is your guys? Tune Squad. Tunes oh, work? like like Looney Tunes. Mm-hmm. That's well, like yeah. a play on. That's like a play on. <laughs> like Looney Tunes. No, the way he was just said it, it was Space funny. Jam. Yeah, yeah Space, Space Jam. Jam movie. Yeah. Tunes Why'd you squad. laugh at that? No, it's because I just I just thought it was funny the way you said Looney Tunes. You said you said Looney Tunes. Yeah, well, it's pronounced Looney Tunes. Yeah. <laughs> but it just sounds funny. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just that's the way been you our, said, just the way you said it sounded. It just... That's been our team for a long time. That's the team that I've played with since a long time. I actually started playing with those guys. And that probably like the the that squad is you Obed, uh, the guy with the long hair, the tall guy. And no, it's not that same squad. No. Oh. Uh, or well, yeah, most of it, I guess. Right. I think. Yeah, most of them are the same though. From. Mm, we've we always kind of uh, there's always been like a few. I mean the the ones that have always pretty much stayed the same because pretty much when I started it was uh, my homie Henry and then also Freddie. Um, they were the ones that were on there before and then they've they picked me up because i used to play with a different team and then i started playing with them and then i've basically just been playing with them since and then from there we've picked up different people throughout but yeah this year i think it's like the time the year that we've had the most new people mm. this is his first year playing no on that we, one? Played, we played i played with you henry well you were on Freddie. the roster but you were on the bench uh, back play. back when was this? It was years ago. Did you? Mm-hmm. We were playing in that one school in Hillsborough, downtown Hillsboro. That's tier? That New York school? I think, I think that's tier. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was years ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then that must have been like a, a while back then. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first time. This is the second season. Oh, okay. So this is the second time. Mm-hmm. Are yeah. you guys like in the top? The top? Because um, they have different tiers, right? This time, yeah. Well, yeah. you guys are at the top? Yeah, essentially. I mean, I don't know. They did it weird this year, but they have it. It's supposed to be like A, B, and C normally, but I don't know why this year it's only C and D. What? I don't know. I think they just, they're both mixed, right? Yeah, essentially. So technically, well, that's not fair. Nah. I mean, so you just have a bunch of I mean, shitty that's people playing against really <laughs> well, it's good kinda, people? Well, I mean, I think it's just because there's not enough. I mean, when I first started playing a while back, like the first years that I started playing, there was a, there used to be actually like eight teams per division. So mm-hmm. like, there was a ton of teams. But as we also basketball's just not as popular nah, anymore. No, and I mean, I, I think just because most of the people that play in that are people, or as like people that I kind of grew up playing with. So a lot of people also started getting older, and a lot of people stopped playing basketball. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you would think, you know, the younger generations, you know, that they grew don't up playing though. basketball. Or maybe it could be that there's just different leagues. There is, but also I would, the one thing that I've noticed is just, like, people, like, especially, like, the younger kids are, all, all of them started having access to or getting, like, 
gym memberships. So you'll see them at like the gyms yeah. playing. Yeah. As opposed to like one, I mean, that's shit, true. when I grew up, I started, I was playing outside. Like we were playing. Mm -hmm. That's when, I mean, although, I mean, that's when like street ball was like. Yeah. It was, crazy. I remember. Yeah. That on is the true. outside. Like Alan 53rd Iverson, Park used to yeah. always be always. popping, but not like, anymore. You, you would, you would have to like, sometimes you would have to go from like one park and then you would go from there because it was too packed. You'd have to go to a different park mm -hmm. just because it was like so packed or something. And depending on where you'd show up with your squad. And if you knew you were good, then you were, you know, you were going to get next and you're going to stay on there. That actually sounds so badass. Just showing up like Bro, five deep, tight. like five it deep. Was sick. Just I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, those That's were, true. I mean, yeah, those, those were definitely like some of the good times. And bro, there were some like good runs. Like, and also there used to be a, like, we used to get a lot more access to uh, church gyms. So like there was different people that had access to them. So they would like do tournaments or they would do, um, yeah, a lot of like just like open runs. Like at yeah. a lot of the, I, I've heard a lot, I've heard a few people now starting to do that again, but. That's so dope. Definitely, yeah, yeah bro, back then it was. During the week. That's definitely, I, that's the, probably one of the better times I, I would say. For, like, I think you went, you went, you joined me, I think a few times when on a church runs during the week. Yeah, I did Portland. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that one stopped. Yeah, but that, the park runs, bro crazy the back then oh yeah back then but also that's probably why i got the knees that i have now you know yeah, concrete the concrete yeah concrete. Bro, that's i do always, on your yeah knees. every time i go play especially now my lower back starts freaking hurt yeah it's a concrete bro that's what happens it reminds yeah. me of the tournament that we did and in the summertime it was out there in the concrete oh yeah that it was all young a lot of them were young teams so and we i remember the up. tournament that the, that andy signed us up on that Put us on the fucking B League with a bunch of D players. <laughs> we didn't win a single freaking game. Oh, I, I, I was like, that Yo. was the tournament. That was the that, that was the that was league. The yeah, that was, was for, for the, the rec league. league. Yeah, I freaking told my girl like, "Hey, babe, come watch me. Like, I feel like I'm gonna do good because I'm thinking I'm gonna be with some same bums like me and shit out in the court." Nah, bro. <laughs> These <laughs> ones about to make a single freaking point, and then they take me out right away. And then I'm like, I'm sorry, man. I swear I'm bad at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bad at this. Next time, all right. When we play a different team, I'm not, yeah, that, I'm not this bad. That summer, that did we? Did you do the next one? The one? No, nah, fuck that. We did I think two seasons, but yeah, after that second round, I was like, yeah, we didn't win any games. So I'm like, I'm, it's a negative. <laughs> for me yeah i mean that it's but a little unmotivating yeah i mean it was for i guess for fun but for me it's like i like to have fun but i also like to win at least one you know <laughs> yeah it's definitely you get competitive you know so that makes sense he he plays pickleball at lifetime do you i don't play pickle uh, sometimes oh. but like it's like on some You're trying like, to deny <laughs> on some like on some bullshit you know, I'll just like just after the workout, like after lifting, get like, a little cardio. I'll just, not just not even cardio. Uh, wait, well, cardio. well, hold the no, fuck up. <laughs> I don't, I'll get no my cardio, cardio in by 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 playing one v one with my brother. Hmm. Basketball? Mm -hmm. With mix? Yeah. He can ball. He's never beat me in a one v one, so not so really. okay. <laughs> so I need, right. I, I need to go to Lifetime with you one of these days because I've heard good we're, things. We're we're gonna go soon. Get a workout. I was gonna tell you that tomorrow's Sunday. I'd go too, but I'm in huge debt. So if you guys want to buy some Ascend, Ascend merch, merch, please, please, I'm begging you guys, just please buy it. Ridiculous, crippling debt. It's it's like I'm I'm struggling not tearing up right now. Just hey, telling you guys. Are you gonna send the bat, you're, gonna, you're sending back signals too, or no? I'm sending bat signals right now. I might send the hats back. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, if Jared, they don't sell, if they don't sell within the next week, bro. I might just have to send them back and get a refund. I don't know <laughs> at this point. Like so that so that lifetime membership is not looking too good yeah, right that now. That lifetime membership is not looking very likely. <laughs> That's hefty. Oh, <laughs> uh, how much is the lifetime, uh, like monthly fee? So it's three, it's three seventy nine, I think, for one person. And then every every other person that you add is a hundred bucks. Actually, damn, it's a car payment. You get a pretty decent car with that. Yeah, like I said, order some ascend. It's, merch. Wait, it's, it's two or three seventy nine. No, I think it's two seventy nine. Some yeah, like three seventy nine. That's that's. I'm not even two seventy nine. I wouldn't. No, I think. Wait, I, mean, I forgot what it was. I don't know. So, I what would check. you say are the benefits of going to somewhere like that? 
as opposed to just mm. the regular gym? I mean, what, what makes it special? Mm, I mean, you have a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't use everything, you know. Yeah. I, I just use the basketball court in the, in the weight room. And, like, I'll use cold plunge in a hot tub every here and there. And I'll, like, hit the pool every here and there, too. Mm-hmm. But I feel, like, I feel like you can meet, like, higher-end people there, too. I feel like that's why I started going there. Well, I started going there because of Alex, but... Yeah. And then I, I saw that you could, like, meet, like, uh, like business people, you know? So I guess build connections. Mm, yeah, so uh, build connections. I can for, see that. For establishments like that, I always assume it's more for exclusivity. You know, like, L.A. has its busy moments, but in Lifetime, it's not going to be as busy because, obviously... It's a not higher everybody. barrier of entry, yeah. so I would assume that that's probably the biggest appeal. Is yeah. You don't have to deal with overcrowd. Yeah, you'd be surprised. A lot of people go actually, but it's not like it'll be like really packed, but it doesn't feel like it's packed. Like you can still do your thing, you know, because it's uh, there's enough. Yeah, and there's, there's so enough. much shit yeah. for you to do, so you won't just be standing there. You know? But the network is kind of clutch because obviously everybody there is is pretty well off. So. Yeah. Or at least, or or spending all of their money to be. <laughs> they're either they're, it's debt? one of two things. They're way, either way to call me out. They're either very well <laughs> off, or they're in crippling debt because of the gym. <laughs> <laughs> they're just trying to find one opportunity <laughs> to get out of debt. He's trying to bank. That's crazy. Bro, hey, bro, just send the hats back. Trying to find a sugar a, mama. In bro, there. If you, you, could, just, if you could just hear me out for this hat idea I have. It's yeah, sick, bro. Yo. I swear. Please buy some ads, guys. <laughs> buy them in bulk. I got this ad, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's oh. crazy. Yeah, I want to check it out because I've been, you know, to a lot of different other gyms. So I, I just want to see, like, if it's, you know, worth, mm-hmm. you know, what people say. Because uh, there's um, the other one in uh, the villa? in Beaverton, the villa. I've been to that one. That one's really nice. I've been to, like, play basketball and so. Mm. I, I don't think I don't think those are, but I don't think those are places that you would say, "Oh, the money's worth it." If you're looking for better equipment, or well, not better equipment, I'm just saying overall, like for everything, not just oh, the I, equipment, just specifically the equipment. I I, I think just yeah, everything like that I it, said, that I think it offers. It, I think the only thing, because I don't think they offer anything that's, I don't think any of these places offer anything that's crazy different except for the exclusivity i think that's the the thing i mean i would hope that they would for the prices that you're going to be paying i mean they have to i mean they have to have some better equipment but also i i know i think what i've seen i think at least just like from lifetime is the like the recovery stuff i don't know if that's included or that's extra but i know they have a lot more Probably of the think stuff those it is included things to put on like your legs uh, and yeah. stuff like that for like more yeah. recovery and stuff like that and then if they have yeah. like, i haven't lunch, i haven't tried them out i feel like that's I what i haven't tried them out Kind of I, I have used the, going to. the massage guns that they have. They have, like, massage things. Like, you could just grab, like, for your yeah. workout. Oh, the little gun thing? Yeah, they have those for you to just grab. But I yeah. haven't tried the that suit you put on and then yeah. you go on the massage chair. I haven't tried that. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, they there's no way that they can just, based off of just, like, how you're saying, exclusivity. I mean, that's, but that's I guess, a lot I mean, just if for you that. got it, you got it, you know? Yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah, because I know Gold's, I mean, they they have... Like the massage chairs, and then they have like a tanning room, and then mm-hmm. a recovery room. Mm-hmm. So, so, and there is just thirty-five bucks. Oh, okay, yeah. But I go in the morning to avoid crowds. <coughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, we, we're gonna. Me and Jeremy are gonna go to Lifetime, like in the next few days, so you can check it check out. Check it out. And then you'll, I'll, I'll get your point of view, like your perspective on what you think about it. You go to any gyms, Antonio? Or no, it's the basketball gym. Nah, nah. He's gonna. He's heading up the home gym. Mm-hmm. Are you setting yeah, one up, man. like in your? I have one. Oh, you do. Yeah. Like a bench press and. Yeah, I have most of the stuff. Recovery room, tanning room, tamir. Yeah, all. I got cold plunge. Basketball too, bro. court. I do. I you got a ha- little hoop hung up. You can play on there, bro. Sick. Oh, you have the. Um, you also have the golf. The, the simulator. The golf. simulator. Everything. In the backyard. Punching bag. Mm-hmm. Got a workshop in there too. Yeah. I got stuff there if you wanted to clean up too. So well, it sounds like your garage is a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's only one seventy nine, not two seventy nine a month. Yeah, okay. bro. My bad. And right now we are having a special. So see. that's crazy. Because you really gotta think to yourself sometimes. Like, do, are the Maybe. people that I have around me are they really your friend? You know, you gotta think about it. Like for example, I have Brandon here, which I thought. He was a friend. Thought. You thought. I considered him almost a brother. Damn. Damn. Almost. It's getting deeper now. For him 
You almost just to three dots. I know. For almost. him, just to like let me struggle like that is is just insane. Like it breaks it breaks my heart. Yeah. You got anything it, to say? It that? breaks my heart that. What did DJ Khaled say in that video? Have you guys watched that? What's your response, Brandon? He's like, you telling me, you telling me, no one believed in us, but God did. Have you guys seen that that clip? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You know what I'm talking about. What's yeah, you response, fucking do, Brandon? you fucking asshole. Damn, he just Look poured his he's heart. Giving bro. you a shoulder lean. I know. Nothing. It's okay. He'll be crying I on my shoulder think later. Think about it and then say. You know the what they say part. about a, a shoulder to cry on? What? The what? A shoulder to cry on? Have you heard of that saying? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's Brandon later. Wait, what? That's, didn't I, I just bro, you just keep digging your hole deeper, bro. <laughs> the more, the more we just let you talk, the deeper you're fucking going right now. <laughs> no. I, then I won't just. Then I won't talk. No, just talk. <laughs> nah, nah. Fuck no, you. No, I want you to talk. No, 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 no. What? Talk. <laughs> bro, if you want no. him to talk or you don't Damn. want him to talk, what are you? Uh, <laughs> it's because it was all making sense, and then you say something, and it makes notes. Like you're making perfect sense, and then you're like. You know, like this? And no, it's because like, I... No, no, no. I don't, I don't want to say what, like, the saying that they say, because it's, like, mm-hmm. pretty inappropriate, but... I mean, I don't know. I guess send us off, Brandon. End it. All right, End well. it, Brandon, because you're actually pissing me off right now. Like, you over here got me <laughs> fucking saying... Fight. You got me Before saying some... Fight, we got to end this. You got me... You got... No, I, I got myself Probably saying got some bullshit, but... Enough footage. You're no, not you helping me, like... Unless you got something else you want to talk about. <laughs> Um, Brandon pisses me off. All right, guys. This has been. All right, guys. This is the end of the podcast. Thanks for watching. It was Antonio, Jeremy, Anthony, and we're out. (laughs) Oh, and and Brandon. And Brandon. (laughs) Yeah, that's how we.